Hi, Sarah Banas here, Simply Sarah Made Easy. I'm going to show you something today really neat. So you do not have to physically make products to show your designs on products to um, sell them, to sell products um, or to gain interest uh, and, you know, see if people want to buy them. It's incredibly easy to use smart objects. I'm going to show you in a free program. This is called Photopia. You don't even have to download this onto your system. You can go to photopia.com right here. That is the link to it. I'll put it in the video description. Um, like I said, it's a free program. So very similar to um, like Photoshop, but without the monthly payment. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top left here where it says file. Click on that. Click new. Oops, hit new. And then you can choose any one of these. I'm just going to choose that. It's fine. Double click it to open it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to open. Now I have already purchased and downloaded the mock-up that we're going to use. When you're purchasing a mock-up for this, you want to make sure that it has, that it says that it has a smart object. If it has a smart object included, it will say it right in the description. Um, I'm going to, this is a great one. And actually this designer, all of hers are amazing. She has a huge shop of them. I will link in the video description. I'm actually going to link her entire shop. This one is like right at the top of it. So you'll see it right away if you want to get this one. This one is going to be for 20 ounce skinny tumblers for sublimation. Um, but she's got a ton. I'll link her whole shop in the video in, underneath the video in the video description. So, but I have already, so that is in my downloads. And I have already downloaded and unzipped the folder. So, one second and it'll load. Um, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. Okay. So this is the, this is the mock-up with the smart object. Okay. So let me show you over here on the right hand side. This is all of your different layers that are within this. So your tumblers are one layer, right? That's this right here. And that's two of them. And then this, I'm sorry, that's, so this is one. The reason that it shows that it looks a little bit larger when I click on it is because it's including the shadow and everything else that is a part of it. So when I click on that, oops, sorry, there's a lot going on here. Um, but right, so right now you can see that it has the middle tumbler selected and it also has the shadow. So let me show you the background when you're over here so scroll down and right here where it says background and you can turn that off okay and then you can put this on top of any background that you want to use so you don't have to use the background that comes with it if i were to save this just like this then i would be able to then just layer that on top of any background that i wanted to use or I could import another background into this design program and save it right there as the background. But for now, let's go ahead and leave the background on how it is. Okay. So again, that's this eye right here. That's how you get rid of specific layers. And again, if I wanted to, I could get rid of, you know, these two and just have that middle tumbler and that would be fine too. But for now, let's go ahead. Let's choose this middle one. And that is this one right here. You can see that that's highlighted when I click on it. And now you're going to click down. Oh, that's already actually opened. So right here where it says, or place your design. So I'm going to double click on that. Oops, I'm going to double click on that. Sorry, give me just one second. Okay, sorry. So you want to double click on that. Um, on the top one, I double clicked on. And that's going to open up my smart. This is my visible area on my smart object. So again, let me just show you what I did here. Let me close this and show you what I did. So right here where it says double click to insert, I'm not clicking on the text, but I'm actually clicking on the image itself and I'm double clicking to open it. Okay. 
And then that is going to open up this. This is our smart object, okay? So now I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to click on Open and Place, okay? Now I already have my design downloaded and unzipped. And this is the one we're going to use. We're going to use this one. I'm going to link this in the video description also. I'll actually also link this designer's whole shop because she is amazing. These are so pretty. These are tooled leather designs. Absolutely love them. So we give it just one second and it'll load up. Isn't that pretty? Um, and she's got tons of them. So I want to take that and I want to stop it just a little bit. It's got ads running. Let's see if I can turn off that ad. Sorry about that. So the free version does have ads that run in it. Um, the free version of Photopia. So, but that's okay. So you saw what I did here. And I clicked on it. And then I stretched out at the corner. That'll keep it in... Um, that'll keep it the sides the same. If you stretched it this or this, that would stretch it out of proportion. This will keep it in proportion, the corners. Okay, so right there we have that all inserted and we have it to size. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go to file and then you want to go to save smart object, okay? And then you can go so this is that smart object layer right here, okay? And then right here is your main object. You can click on that, and there you go. And that's all there is to it. That is how you use a smart object. So, um, and that's, I mean, it's a game changer. You don't have to make things anymore to show people what they're going to look like. And that is literally all there is to it. And you can put any design you want on there, any design that you have, any design that you've made. And smart objects are not just for tumblers. They, they're, like I said, so I'll link her shop. She's got a ton, but there's tons of places to get great smart object mock-ups out there. And you can get pillows and you can get wall hangings and you can get t-shirts that have the wrinkles in them. So it looks super realistic when you put it on the smart object. It's not just, you know, an overlay. Um, but I mean, that's all there is to it. Smart objects are just an absolute game changer, like I said. So I'm going to link in the video description. I'll link Photopia. I'll link the smart object shop that I've used here. I'll link these tooled leather designs because they are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll link her whole shop of them. She's got tons of them. Uh, I'm also going to link our Facebook group. I'm going to link a couple. I'm going to link Cricket for Beginners, which is a little over 700,000 members. Super friendly, super helpful. You'll fit right in. I'll link um, Sublimation for Beginners, about 150,000 members. Super friendly also. You'll fit right in there. Um, and I mean, that's it. If the video is helpful, like the video. That helps me out a lot. But also subscribe to my channel. When you're subscribed to my channel, you'll get a notification when the new videos come out once or twice a week. Lots of neat ways, not just to design and use new materials, but how to master the craft. So make sure you subscribe and I hope you have a great day. Bye.